Alrighty. Welcome back. We're going to cover how to add music and make some modifications to the music track in this project video for Final Cut Pro. Here you go. You can see we have our photos, aka slides, already in the timeline window, the project window. What I'm going to do is go off screen here and pull in a music clip. I get my music from audiojungle.com and pond5.com. Pond, P-O-N-D, pond, P -O -N -D 5, the number 5.com. Both of those places have a great music that you can, some of it's free and some of it you can buy, but they have a large selection of genres. So check it out if you need some music. Okay, you can see here the music clip is longer than the video. Um, I, we covered all the different elements to get to this point in our previous project segments, which you can find the links below. Um, so we'll just focus right now on this electrical contractor promotional video. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go up to the selection tool. I'm going to pick the razor blade so that we can come over here and cut off the excess music. So just make a splice there, go back up here, select, select the, the part to delete and hit the delete key so it's gone. Now we just have our short music clip to cover the, <clears throat> this promotional video. You'll see at the beginning of this video, the bottom here, by the way, is the low point of the music. And when you see the yellow and red, that means the volume is higher, the tempo is higher. So let me just play this through so you get that, what that means. So you got a quicker tempo and it's louder up here. There's the beginning. So the, people have different preferences. Some people like to fade in their music. I like to have a loud music to get started with. I like to have loud music to get started. At the end, it's always good, I think, to fade it out. Let me show you how to do that. We'll select the video. I'm sorry, select the music. And see how the cursor changed to two arrows? When you can see that change, you have the fade in, fade out marker, and you're just simply gonna drag it over. It's a little ball. Let me make that larger so you can see. Control plus. Command plus. You see how that works? It's right there. This actually, when you see the cursor go like this, it means you can lower the volume or you can increase the volume. So I'm going to hit Command Z, Control Z to undo that, what I just did. Okay, so here we got our music. Let's see what it's like at the end. Let me zoom back out. Actually, I did a fade in. See how the fade in mark is right there? All right, let's see what that. You'll hear it now. It's a little smaller. See that fades out? Okay. Fade out is a good thing with the videos. But I always like to, to play the video a little longer. Okay. Now, I want to show you something that I think is pretty cool. You may not like it, but... In the beginning, I like to time the tempo of the music clip with the first slide. So what I'm trying to do is, you'll see right here at this point, when you hear the music, the tempo changes. Let me play it again for you. See how that changed? It got quicker. So what I want to do is take this first slide, select it. Now I'm going to reduce its duration by dragging it over. You can see, I think that's lined up. Let me see. We'll see it. Gonna go back to the start and see. Hopefully, this slide ends right here when the tempo changes. Let's see. So there you go. That's a cool little way to add some ump to your uh, upgrade to your video. So that's it, that's how, oh wait, this is important, let me show you this. So you see what I did was I, I shortened this photo, right? This segment of the video. So what happened was, remember before the ending slide was longer, so since I shortened the video length, I shortened it. I need to extend this out here. Right. So that way this is,
because I think, I don't know, just my personal preference, you'll figure out your own, but I like to have this ending slide, what I call the branding slide, last longer than the music. So you just pay attention to those kind of adjustments when you adjust the duration of the video, make it shorter, then it affects the whole timeline. So, but it's easy, you can see, and I covered this in the previous segments of how to adjust the duration of each slide. So I hope this was helpful. I hope that adding this music clip was easy to understand. If so, you might want to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below. And uh, we'll see you in the next video where we're going to talk about how to make a branding slide, uh, which is the ending slide gear that we're looking at right now.